There is a flaw with most Minecraft prisons. They either require thousands of blocks and resources to build, or require guards to be dedicating mostly their entire life just to the prison. In today's video, I'm making an unescapable prison using neither. That means no guards, almost barely any resources, and no escape. Hello guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a little bit different. See, a lot of people have tried to make some inescapable prisons in Minecraft, but a lot of them can be escaped through some pretty stupid mistakes. Like the fact that you can literally get wool and some wood just inside the prison. Which is why in today's video we are going to be doing our attempt at an unescapable Minecraft prison. So, let's get started. We are going to start off with an obsidian floor. And now we've got some walls. And we've got elder guardians in here, which will... Right, I need to shift that a little bit so that it fits. But anyway, these guys should give anybody inside the prison mining fatigue. And now we've got a second one in. The third one. Alright guys, and now that we have all four turrets, we are going to focus on the other parts. The walls do need to be a bit thicker, so... There we go. I need to have them at least four blocks thick so that they can't use a boat to get through them. And now we're going to fill the rest of these up with water. We're not going to top it off yet just because I do not want to have to deal with going in and out every time. And the purpose of the water is not only to make the obsidian mining time slower, and it, it is also to um, it's also to make it so that mobs can't spawn, so that they couldn't find some way of getting planks and then kill spiders for wool. But to keep them from drowning, we are going to set up a few conduits. And by a few, I mean one because that's the only one we need. Wait, guys, do conduits damage? Wait, what? How did I not know that was a thing? These these are fine. I guess we should just like go ahead and kill this thing. So, yeah, that's just gonna happen. That's just so strange. Anyway guys, we now have the conduit in place, which means our prisoners won't drown. Alright guys, right now it's hard to get out now, but not impossible. They really could just mine through the walls. Even if it would take like five hours or something per block. Alright guys, so what we've set up here is, if I right click this bed also, let's just do that, so that we don't have any other spawning points, we right click on the bed, then type in the command, slash kill. Watch what happens. What? Didn't work? Alright guys, so what we're gonna do is we've gotten rid of the gotten let's see which one of these would be the best but uh, regeneration and resistance so essentially what we've done is we've made them take less damage but let's say we're in the water right let's put ourselves it's also darker which makes it harder but let's put ourselves in survival this might I'm hoping count it might counteract the damage you take from uh, from the drowning, so hopefully. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 dang it, doesn't work. But yeah, as you can see, this makes it a lot harder. What if we set it up to drop us in here every time we die, so you literally couldn't make any progress? I think that would definitely work. Alright guys, I've changed the spawn point of the world to that block, so if I kill myself, it should respawn me on that block, and yeah, I go, just go straight in. And now I don't think there's literally any way for me to get out. Alright guys, so we're gonna test this out, and yeah, as soon as we get in here, we're going to start losing health, and uh, we're also gonna like, kinda drown, and then... 
Yeah, once we start losing them, we're gonna slowly die. But like, we have mining fatigue, so in anyway, even if we tried to mine this with our fist, we're not only gonna be taking damage and it's gonna be hard for us to survive, but like, we're also gonna be just like, watch, oh, there we go. We got the mining fatigue, so it takes like five hours to mine. Once we respawn, it drop, drops us right back in, so there's literally no way out. Also, to clarify, this is like supposed to be a single player prison, which means solo escape, which means you can't just say like, I have another friend come in and break me out. That's like not what the point of this is. So, also, I broke the beacon so that we wouldn't get regeneration and the dying process would go even faster. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Good. Bye.